super excited to vlog today. We'll be chilling. I'm gonna show you guys my recent pickups, as you can see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're gonna grab some coffee. We'll take you guys along as per usual. And why don't actually break down the fit? We break it down there. It's a good lighting. Fit of the day. Rock pair of Simmons, dual sim jacket. You guys know these jackets, but I kind of like this one version, this one better because the rough version. I feel like it's it's pretty similar to my rig jacket, so I'm just getting this one because I feel like it's more archival. Feels to me at least. Object. And then greedy. Do you know what it is? You get me. Okay. Um, Lucinta. It's super high quality. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Adriel's ethnic shirt. <laughs> it looks so good on you. And I'm just jeans. What? Little Kiko. My everyday shoe. My shoe. vintage Oakley belt. Yeah. And I got this from the JoJo exhibition That's in so Tokyo. It's so fire, bro. I really want one of those. This is a JoJo exhibition in Tokyo. This is my friend made this. Shishibari bear. Cute. Yeah. <clears throat> got the waifu. I got it for him. And then we got the little object. Oh, by the way, if you guys, if I, um, if you got, if any of you guys ordered the object, drop. Let me know if you like the these tags because we actually spent so much money on it, and we really wanted it to be like part of your fit, an accessory slash keychains for your car binders and stuff like that. Yeah. Because we felt like stickers aren't as permanent. I feel like this is just like a better gift for you guys to really appreciate, like the purchase. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. My favorite coffee in Sydney. If you guys are here, by the way, we really wanted to make the next few collections are gonna be fucking crazy. Um, I think the few, the first few releases were really simple, but the next ones we really want to make it like safety pieces. We want to make like a bomber, like a leather jacket, shit like that. Yeah. Stay tuned. You already know. I think the thing about object is we know the silhouettes, we know the way things are meant to fit. I think we're gonna really capitalize on that. So yeah. What gang? What, what gang tattoo is that? Object. Just trying eyes long black. <laughs> He's asking me to reenact. I don't even want to do it anymore. Sorry, you alright? I'll just, no, I just was ready and I thought, I'll just give you like, a half of the Would you like something? Like the store, Kiko Chan's on sale, 50%, 40 or 50% off. Crazy, it's already a really good price. Should try it on. I'll be here. <laughs> Damn, that looks good. Fire. Oh my god, that's fire. That's crazy. What is it? Sorry, my filming is Oh my god, that's fire. It's a bit low waisted. It's waist. so cute. Oh, the waist is perfect on you. Yeah. That's that's. <laughs> I tried with some agree. Yeah. Well, I have a similar acne pants that I haven't shown you guys. Probably still sell that one. Still brand new. We saw it off there as well, but I think I would like it some way better. Mm. So much more me. By the way, you guys know I've never fucking shopped in stores. I don't know what they Did you show them like you have a screenshot and everything? I was literally I was literally going to the bathroom and I was like, oh, this store's pretty cool. Let me check it out. I literally just went to this place just because I need to go to the bathroom. We never go to this place at all. And I was like, this looks familiar. And then that Kiko trousers, which is women's. 
and I had a screenshot on my phone like however long ago. It's just, it just here, discounted. The last one, last one. Fucking fire. Here we go. 1.2 grand. No. Bro, no way. <laughs> so high wasted though. So long. Let's see. Got a navel, bro. <gasps> it is what it is. I gotta treat yourself sometimes, right? Bro, I've been wearing this outfit for how long? <laughs> it is what it is. Recent pickups coming soon. Can screenshot it. No. Shoo! <laughs> it's rolling. Rolling? Mm -hmm. oh, we're rolling. What's going on, people? It's been a minute since we showcased some of my recent pickups. But I've accumulated a really good selection of pickups. 100% this is the best pickup I've done today. Um, I think it really encapsulates my whole aesthetic slash current time stamp of my uh, style at the moment. So yeah, let's start with the heavy hitters. We're gonna go with jackets, tops, pants, and I've actually got a pair of shoes and one bag. So first off, if you guys have been following me for a bit, you guys have seen this before. Honestly, one of my favorite jackets today Except for my UG jacket, that's a different game. But this is the Spring Summer 20 Tactual Runway IES Bomber from Rick Owens. Honestly, this is the perfect like going out jacket. If you want to feel like you're dressing up, if you want to feel like you're a bit of a... If you want to stand out a bit, you definitely get some looks wearing this jacket. Fucking love it. It's got that motorcycle look, like a biker look and shit like that, which I really enjoy. It features this a whole lot of buttons in the collar itself, which I really fucking enjoy. It's got one, two, three, four, five buttons here and you can always snap them off and interchange the buttons if that makes any sense. So you can make them uh, a more unique silhouette and stuff. And then the zipper is super high quality and it's super smooth. You can hear that, super fire. Zipper's here, zipper's there. And it's got an adjustable strap down here as well. Super simple, you can wear it shorts and boots. You can wear it with jeans or you can wear it with anything and everything in general. It is a really, really cool jacket. Fucking love it. Moving on. The second piece is this Raf Baraf Simmons dual zip asymmetrical jacket. You guys probably know this jacket. It's been gaining a lot of popularity these days, but it's the mainline one that's getting a lot of popularity. I've never seen anyone showcase this one before, which I personally feel like this is more of me. It feels more archival as well with how these things, these watch straps are added. It just feels like more detailed, I feel. So this is from the spring summer 05 line, I think. And the thing that's different with this one, obviously, with the double zips here, with the tape running there, it's got the ribbing on its um, bottom as well, and over there, over here, which I feel like it keeps you actually warmer in seasons like this. Currently, it's um, winter in Australia, so yeah. When I wear this, I just have them a bit open like that, and then just have that sort of flowing through. That's all that. That's the rotation so far. Next is this board zip up hoodie. We've been wearing this non-stop, just under my bomber, just, and just anything in general. The only flaw with this hoodie is that it's not cropped. I kind of want to make like an object version that's way more cropped and this way more well-fitting. But the details in this hoodie is absolutely insane because it's got piping everywhere over here. It's got the zippers here as well. I don't know, it's such a unique hoodie. It's got these like raw hands here, the piping over there, even all the way to the back. Like that, how fucking fire is that like shoulder pad detailing? I've just put a safety pin here just because I wanted to fit a bit more crop, so I just tuck it in. If it's a bit more cinched in the bottom, it makes it easier for you to um, have that crop look because you can always just tuck that in. And then the whole zipper, zipper is super smooth as well. I've been really liking um, zip up hoodies because I feel like it's just way easier to layer. When you're wearing like a full pullover hoodie, it's just a bit hard because you gotta take it off all the way and stuff like that. You know, it's just more, more versatile, especially with summer coming up in Australia. You can wear it with shorts, you can wear it with trousers, sweats, and stuff. So yeah, I think next up we're moving to pants, which obviously you guys know, it's one of my favorite parts of the outfit as well. This is the Spring Summer 23. Kiko was starting off woman, uh, women's. I think it's called the Moments. women. <laughs> I can't speak. It's been a minute, guys. It's been a minute. I personally feel, oh, it's obviously more my style. Like it's honestly one of the best 
Kiko Charizard this came off with. It's a bit hard to see, but you'll see in the on body. It's got this pocket on his side, which is honestly super fire. What's crazy is that I actually screenshotted this um, this piece a while back before even knowing that they stocked it in Sydney. So when I went in the store and I saw it um, for 50% off, I was like, I need that. And if you guys see this piece anywhere floating around, you definitely have to get it. It's got this super wide flare. It's definitely that Yoji-esque type like trouser, but it's super baggy. It just overflows everything you wear underneath. And so if you're wearing um, a really tight top um, on the top, it's really, 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 really ill fitting. I fucking love it. I've been wearing this a whole lot. Look at the back detail and double straps everywhere. So one, two, one, two, one, two there. So yeah, super fucking sick. From my good friend Owen. You already know. It's got, it, this is the G73 tassel trousers. I think that's what it's officially called. It's pretty slim fitting um, across the tie area, but then it um, sort of flares out to good cut. I love the black pair because obviously it's up my alley. The white pair is a bit out there for me, but it honestly fits really well. I feel like if you're trying to look for slim fitting trousers, this is definitely the way to go because I think it flatters a lot of people's bodies. So yeah, it's got the whole bunch of details on the front, the tassels, and then the back as well. What I really like about these pants are the button here. I think Owen did a really good job with the button, with the buttons and everything like that because it's fully customized. It's matte black, and it's the same in both pairs. She's crazy. Showcase a white pair for you guys. It's a white pair. I honestly think the cream color is super fire as well. I think, especially with the tassels. And it's just, especially if you're wearing like a really faded out tee up the top, it's a good contrast, especially if you're wearing Guidis and you're wearing this and you're wearing like a really vintage faded top. I think it's, it's a really good look. It's a really good look. Moving on. Acne Studios satin striped trousers, which is it's this huge fitting trousers, super wide, definitely one of the widest trousers I've ever had. Um, but it fits really well. Um, if you guys are looking for some wide fitting trousers, you could definitely find them. Look for these online. The glory of these jeans are in the way it fits inside the details itself. It's got this really cool, it's almost like neoprene. Like I used to really like neoprene because it holds your structure. When it comes to trousers like these, um, usually doesn't come in the right material. So it, the way it flares up isn't as flattering. But this one, it comes with the right material in terms of weight, in terms of the way it falls on your shoes. So it's definitely perfect for you people who are over six foot three. I reckon even Enzo, <laughs> Enzo six foot one is definitely way too long for him too. So unless you want to tailor it, which honestly is in my cup of tea, but if you want to do, it's a good pair of pants. Fire. I've got last two pieces to show. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it myself. Obviously, you guys know that I never really wear sneakers at all, but this one honestly is fucking fire. Um, I'll probably just wear this with shorts. I don't think I'm going to wear anything else. Thank you, Sita. This, these are the Japan exclusive Gore-Tex Vibram Mizunos. How fucking fire are these shoes? I feel like this is garbage core. Like, it's like, it's those type of shoes that you don't fucking care about. It's like the old man's shoes, but then the appeal to it is that it's ugly and cool to save time. So yeah, I really like this. It's a really cool pair of shoes. I'll definitely wear it with like some long socks, some dickies, and then wear them to hike. This is actually a hiking shoe. I sold the Kokinis and I just got these instead. So yeah. Gore-Tex and Vibram. I thought it's a cool combination because it basically covers both ends. It's definitely gonna last a long time as well. So yeah, I wanna, I actually wanna get more into hiking slash be more active because having an office job isn't really my best slash ideal state. So I'm really trying to keep it active, trying to go on more hikes, trying to go on more things. So yeah, last but not least, that's Oakley backpack. I also bought these secondhand from, actually got this from Indonesia, had mom bring it over. This is vintage and it honestly fits so much stuff. Like it fits my laptop, it fits 
basically if I had like a change of clothes or something like that, it fits my laptop, it fits the iPad, it fits so much shit. It's got this strap here as well for easy access. So if I, usually I use this for my like caps, I just chuck them in and then just put a whole bunch of stuff in there. But it looks really good on body, it's super sick. And I feel like I've needed a backpack for the longest time. As you guys know, I'm not a bad guy, but when I do, I prefer it to be like this sort of thing. Since I actually bought this for a work trip a while back. And did you like it? Yeah. You get you get to fit a lot of stuff in there, right? Uh, it's like it's comfortable and you can fit a lot of stuff. There's a lot of pockets. Yeah, it's a lot of nice pockets. Easy. I'll show you guys how that fits on the body because I feel like it's really flattering. And it's, it feels very secure. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Since you should show your recent pickups. Show your pickups, especially the neck you're wearing. Well, we'll showcase it the recent pickups. We'll keep this rolling. So Zita's gonna showcase her pickups. Um, <laughs> honestly, it seems as if like we're twinning this out because a lot of our pickups are the same True. thing. Can you know say it? These are like... my dresses. This is um, Vivian Westwood bomber jacket. Yeah. <laughs> I actually never liked bomber jacket, <laughs> but I think Adriel exposed me to bomber jackets. Yeah. Like I gravitate towards bomber, and yeah. I was like, maybe I actually should get one. Your own version of yourself. Yeah. I think this is very Sinta because it does have the typical bomber shape, but it's definitely like super elevated because it's got this collar at the top, which you can wear I, yeah. like a turtleneck. Yeah, we'll we'll, say, we'll, say, we'll show you guys the on body footage. But yeah, really cool piece. Have you been wearing this a lot? Yeah, I'm wearing a lot. Yeah. I've, I've worn it a lot. Yeah. It's my Oakley. Purse pouch. It's a, pouch. It's like a purse. It's my it's my Oakley vintage Oakley purse. Adriel found this and he was like, "This is really cool." And it was like what under fifty bucks. Right? Yeah, it's like um, forty bucks. So that's like AUD, thirty bucks. Yeah. Thirty AUD. Jeez, I just put like a lot of my trousers. Yeah. Make it more simple. Yeah. Yeah. But this is just my favorite pickup. I think, like. I don't even want to buy anything else yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's really cool. Because it's perfect. And last but not least, my undercover, <laughs> my my undercover spring onion pouch. So we see it. We'll show you guys how everything fits. As per usual, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my pickups and test pickups. I personally feel like she's got way better pickups than I did. I'm lucky okay. I could wear this stuff. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, damn. I wish that was me. That's it. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Peace. We're just packing you guys' orders. 3 a.m. Since I and I look at that. But yeah, we're trying our best. Every one of you guys' orders are hand packed. But yeah. That one, that one's done. We hand pack the tags as well, the acrylic tags. Which I feel like would be a really good addition to your guys' carabiners and everything. Super fire. This basically is our version of a sticker. So yeah, we're not giving you guys something that you throw away, but something that you can put in your carabiner and bring along, put in your backpack and everything. But yeah. Thank you so much for every one of you guys who have supported this job. It's legit the biggest drop we've done so far, and it's only up from here. So yeah, appreciate you guys so much. We love ya. Good afternoon. I have been obsessed with kimchi stew. I kid you not, I've been eating this every single day for the past week and a half. This soup. Every fucking day for the past week and a half. How good is it, Sin? So good. I wish I was once at this restaurant just so I can eat it every fucking day. So fucking fire, dude. Oh my god. Especially after work at 9 p.m. at, the no at night. Jeez. He's torturing me by asking me to film. <coughs> Ooh, baby. Damn.
Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Man didn't have to go that hard, but...